faces to places. <laughs> Last time on Races to Places, we arrived at Dakar 2018. Lyndon and Basil reunite. Key in the emotional music, Mikey. So, we'll kickstart season 10 of Races to Places post Dakar in Brazil. The sightseeing motto today is go big or go home. Iguazu Falls are waterfalls of the Iguazu River on the border of the Argentina province of Misiones and the Brazilian state of Parana. These falls make up the largest waterfall system in the world. upper plateau of Iguazu Falls and couldn't really film much down there in terms of voiceover just because of the sheer noise of the water uh, but this is where it all starts and literally millions of gallons go gushing over there every second uh, quite spectacular to see and definitely the biggest waterfall we've seen on races to places so far enjoy having a look around because I certainly did Ice lollies are a firm favourite amongst the local wildlife here. Another great example of being met by somebody and invited to somebody's home in a strange country. Here we are in Brazil second day in Brazil and uh, we've already had an invite to fellow motorcyclist house which is really really nice Hello. hey how are you nice to meet you are you Alison yes Alison nice to meet you nice to meet you your name Fabio, Fabio. great thank you well there's Basil and today Basil is having a day off because we're going dirt biking in Brazil. It's a lovely day, sun is shining. This is, uh, this is full factory racing here in, uh, in Brazil. I'd like to introduce the, uh, the two pro riders today. Today on the show, Lyndon has found some locals who are going to take him and Tony dirt biking. The baby jar. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lovely selection of Volkswagens in the background. You know, Moto always surprises me. Pull all these amazing people together to go riding. 
so much fun, really fun. He's been riding for less than a year. It's incredible. Go on, Fabio! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> it's a piss sample. This is like showing us who's been racing the most, giving it the most gas today. <laughs> Number 830's run out of fuel. <laughs> so. Alison is going swimming. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> the spiders, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That's yeah, uh, pretty cool. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Races to places! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Let's hope the piranhas aren't too hungry in this river today. Okay, Fabio, the fun's over. <laughs> oh, oh wait, we gotta go ride motorcycles now. Back, back, back to work, back to the, back to the job. Oh, nice! Hello, eh? camera! Yeah, <laughs> look here! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> What better way to finish off a day's riding than with a few beers? day out today on the trails, um, did about 100 kilometers, three of us, all three KTMs ran out of fuel um, and thankfully we had a Honda 230 with us that had plenty of fuel left, very economical. What a day, eight hours of brapping in Brazil. Alright, let's go get some food. Steak time! Just on our way to Rio de Janeiro. If we look to the left, there you can see some uh, slum type housing just off the side of the highway here. Lots of reports of dangerous areas around Rio de Janeiro, so just taking a nice uh, direct route to the southern part of the city where we'll do a little bit of tourist stuff before heading south down the coast towards Uruguay. Sugarloaf Mountain, a little peak just in the distance, and unfortunately we can't see the Christ Ujima, but um, Probably tomorrow we'll see that sun setting behind me. About 
went to the sea I went to Copacabana Copacabana Sweet Hopefully in here somewhere there is a hotel for us with parking We've prearranged this just because we didn't want the bikes on the street and really just thought, you know it is known to be a dangerous city so we want to uh, be in a decent place with the bike safe in a garage. So this morning we're out and about nice and early went for a little run and uh, we're going to go and um, take a look at the Christ the Redeemer up on the hill, a huge statue uh, that most people know Rio de Janeiro for, it's one of the iconic things. Awesome view down to you can see Sugarloaf Mountain there, Copacabana Beach, and then follow the coast past the lake. Absolutely stunning this morning up here. Alright, we're now hopped across the city to Sugarloaf Mountain. And we're gonna go up there. Looking out over the bay from here, watching a sailboat race. <laughs> it's pretty interesting from up here. Fantastic view of uh, Copacabana Beach. This is the beach that I was running on this morning. It took me about an hour to run from one end to the other and back again. Next time on Races to Places, it's Copacabana Beach. Hi everyone, I just want to say a massive thank you to you all for watching my media and for all the great comments that I receive every single day, please keep them coming. I'm just going to share with you my Patreon page. Patreon is a membership based platform that gives creators like me the opportunity to continue cr to create the media that you love to watch. For just a few dollars a month, I can give you priority viewing, I can give you special features, 
Informative posts about the things that you want to know. It creates a platform for interaction between you, the viewer, and me, the creator. Now, a few dollars a month might not seem like a lot to you, but for me, collectively, it makes a huge difference. So please check out the link at the bottom of the page, and I appreciate any contribution you can make to make my job sustainable. In return for that, I promise to keep creating great media that you love, dreaming up new projects, filming it and sharing it with you all. Thanks.